Get to know them better. And that's exactly what we're doing on the other side. As I introduce our guest for uh, on the show today, and of course, our health team. Only on Zapam Tima. I love you, baby girl. I love you too. Dad is here. Cheers. Welcome back. You are on Zapam Tima and it's time for the health tip. And we are talking sugar, the benefits of reducing sugar. Now, did you know that uh, sugar, uh, if you reduce uh, the intake of sugar, that promotes um, uh, weight loss. It does promote uh, weight loss. It also helps you lower uh, uh, um, your uh, uh, blood pressure levels. So get in the habit of taking elixir kombucha because uh, the sugar levels in uh, 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 kombucha are so reduced by the time elixir kombucha is ready, the sugar is almost gone. So it's good, it's a health drink, and it's a great source of energy that doesn't have a lot of sugar. And getting to uh, introduce our guest on the show today, this is none other than uh, Mr. Kayenga. I'll give you his full names. Um, this is Marvin Casey Kayenga, and he actually comes in uh, with um, uh, Ida Chewe. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you so very much. Thank you for having us. Kezi, it's been a long, long time. Yeah, it's been, it's been quite a long time, yeah, yes. but I'm around. It's, yes. it's so nice to have you in the studio. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Yeah, where, where have you been? Yeah. I've been around. Um, I must say there was a time that I made a lot of noise mm -hmm. with the Love You More song. Yes. Yeah, yes. but I've been around and um, we have some things going mm -hmm. and I... I just want to say to my fans that uh, they will see a lot of good stuff. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, most of us remember that song. You just go, let me love you more. Yes. <laughs> my God. You know, yeah. 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 It, it really hit uh, the waves uh, yes. very big. Mm -hmm. So what have you been up to right now? Right now, um, uh, t uh, 2019, I was busy with the concert that we had at uh, Playhouse, the Saga Playhouse, mm -hmm. where we were launching my album. This is reggae. Yeah. Where we had at least the band youth. Mm -hmm. We had Michael St. Michael. Mm -hmm. We had Chris Acker. Yeah. We had a good time. Um, this time around, we're working on a movie. I know a lot of people may be wondering to say, uh, what is it doing now? Mm -hmm. Why movies? Mm -hmm. Basically, before I actually released my first album, I was into movies. Oh. I was producing, yeah. Okay. And uh, it's. I've, I've been doing this hand in hand. So, so you're a writer, you're a musician, <laughs> you're an actor. Yes, I okay. do that, yes. I'm a writer, mm -hmm. musician, mm -hmm. and this time around we have got a project going, which is called The President. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really wanted you to talk about uh, that project, the, the President. How is it going? What is it all about? And, you know. The President uh, tells the story of um, a man who had a dream but he was a president. Mm -hmm. And uh, in reality, the effects of that dream began to play. So uh, we have others who start benefiting out of uh, the dream, and, and we have those that were rejecting and not benefiting. But this can, it, can, it also carries a story um, uh, to emphasize on the importance of land uh, uh, there's uh, that thing that I believe that land is power, mm -hmm. especially for the indigenous Zambians. And so this, this movie is about sensitizing people the importance of land also, mm -hmm. and many other extra dramas. I do not want to offload everything, but I mm -hmm. believe that by the time we're done, 
And when it hits the cinema, it's something that uh, will actually bring the entertainment and also the education on that. Excellent. And, uh, all right, we're still talking movies, but yes. what has happened to your music career? As in, are you still planning yes. to... I'm still singing. Uh, last year I released my album, uh, This Is Reggae, where we've got uh, songs like Smile, it was all over on TV. Um, and like I said, uh, there was a launch, yes, uh, with the Jet Swap concert promotions. We had a good time. Um, uh, and I, after this uh, movie project, I intend to release uh, another album. And so I'm still in music. So for those, especially my fans, who think that uh, this man, what is happening, mm -hmm. I'm still there. I've got passion for this. I'm not going anywhere. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah. Give me a bit of a background. Give us a background of yourself. When did you start? Where are you from? How, how did this whole thing just yeah, get uh, going? Okay, I grew up uh, loving music. Um, I, I loved music. And then um, I remember when it was just business, then I'm like, I need to come up with a studio. And that's how I decided to form Jetson Records. That was around uh, 2000, where we had Poti Fampundu, he's the late now. He was our producer. Then later on, they, him and Joanne, they taught my young brother, who happens now to run Promedia Records, Lucky. Lucky happens to be the one who actually ended up producing my music. Okay. But before then, before then, we were producing for other people. Yeah. We had Kings there, yes, just right there in Matero. Kings Malembe. Kings Malembe Malembe. <laughs> and many other good, well-known musicians right now. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't uh, actually like I'm um, going to be a musician. Okay. I was more focused on producing and mixing the music. Mm -hmm. But it came to, it, there came a time when I was like, okay, I can sing. Mm -hmm. Encouraged by my young brothers was like, okay, yeah, you can sing, but you need uh, uh, to create an image. So I was like, okay, I'll put on a wig. Mm -hmm. So I never even had dreads when I first had my music. Yeah. When Love You More came out, I was like, okay, let's just try this. And to my surprise, it was People's Choice number one. Yeah. Yeah. Then we had friends in um, Suriname, there in South America, who were like, we love the song and we'd like to do uh, something on it. Yeah. They did a cover of it. And we were like, okay, so this is serious. Yeah. So from there, I carried on. Excellent. Yes. This is Zapam Tima TV show on the other side. Zapam Tima. Energize the natural way. Elixia Kombucha. Drink healthy, live healthy. Welcome back. We are talking to Casey. Casey, uh, Jetson. Where is this name from? <laughs> Jetson. Jetson Records. You know. Jetson is actually, it was my nickname. Uh, it comes from Jet Li. Oh, yeah, I see. At school, I used to love martial arts. So the Bobby Bank guy. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Yes, <laughs> you better sit proper. Yeah. Wow. I okay. loved. I, I loved Jet Li, and mm -hmm. you know, we would go watch movies yeah. into these they call video shows. Yes, yes. Yeah, and because of I always. Uh, so you're a martial artist. I never went to a gym, but basically just watching from Jet Li stuff, yeah. and people ended up calling me Jet Li, Jet Li. Yeah. But because of a friend who was cool son, yeah. ended up calling me Jetson. Ah. I didn't want the name to die. I said, okay, this is going to be the name of the studio. Ah. So, yeah. Excellent. For those who do not know me as kids, they call mm. me Jetson. Okay. So, so, okay, and you're saying you didn't have the, the locks. I didn't have the started. locks. Yeah, yeah. So, what, what inspired you to have the locks? I mean, Okay, basically, it was about creating the image, yeah. but also I grew up uh, listening to so much of Lucky Dure and reggae oh, music. Okay. Yeah. I would say, I must say that Lucky Dure inspired me so much. Oh, okay. and, uh, yeah. When coming into music, I was like, I must have an image. Mm -hmm. And I 
think this was my perfect image. Uh -huh. yeah. So are you a Rastavan? Are you a Christian? <laughs> uh, what are you? Um, actually, a Christian. Okay. Yes. When I first Christian tried Rasta. I don't know. Whatever <laughs> you know, when I first when I first released my album, yeah, I go to church. They told me you are a Rasta man. Uh -huh. Then I go to the Rasta fraternity. They call me. No, you you are a Christian. Uh -huh. You know. So at the end of the day. I'm reggae. Yeah. <laughs> I'm reggae, but basically I'm a Christian. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Right. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Um, Aida. Yes. Tell me about Aida. Pick it up, Aida. Let's hear about you. <laughs> okay. Um, to start with, I just want to appreciate for having me here. Okay. Yes. Um, I've been with uh, Jetson Records for almost 10 years now. Yes, Ten I'm, years. yes, I'm wow. actually the administrator of Jester okay. Records and uh, the actor and that person. Okay. Yes, I handle most of the projects. Yes. Okay. Ah, excellent. So you've been together for 10 years. Yes. Ah, how has it been like uh, working together? It's been, it's been challenging, it's, it's been fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you kept it professional, like professional. Yes. Very professional. Just professional. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very professional. Excellent. Okay. That's that's so good. Yeah. What would you say uh, have been your major challenges as Jets on the front? Um. Major, like major you can challenges. remember two or three. Uh, you know. I think the major one has been maybe the financial part. The financial part. Yeah. Yeah. Because we, yeah, we've had challenges okay. financially, but right. so far we've, we've been managing. Tapping talent. Yeah, tapping talent, and because um, we we fund our own projects. Ah, okay. Yeah, so that right. has been somehow a challenge, mm -hmm. but we do manage. Have you received some kind of um, um, assistance, you know, from the government or the ministry, you know, responsible for uh, you guys? Um. The last time we did um, the legacy the legacy concert, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. that's when we had to fund because we're raising funds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the the ZNS mm -hmm. came in, yes. Mm -hmm. At least we did we shipped something from them. Okay. Yes. So they made a donation, and also we want to remember the. Um, who are those, the, those that deal with plots? Uh, yeah, the North Ridge. North Ridge, North Ridge yes. They also supported us, so mm -hmm. we really appreciated that. Okay. But yes, uh, the challenge has been there mm -hmm. financially. Yeah. We would like to invite as many uh, corporate companies that would want to. Yeah, that's especially board, right now that we, we, we bring the president. Yes. Yes, the president few. Uh, especially that we're talking yeah. about the importance of land. Mm -hmm. We believe that land is power. Mm -hmm. and. It, you can bargain with it, but yeah. do not get rid of land. Wow. So that's, uh, that's what we want to communicate in the movie that is coming. Excellent, yes. Only on Zabam Tima. Meet me on the other side. Welcome. You are on Zabam Tima, and we are talking to Casey. Casey, um, the year is coming to to an end. Yeah, what have you slated for? You know, uh, and and yeah, I mean, do you have concerts? Do you have another reggae show, a reggae concert, or whatever? What's happening? Okay, what we've been having uh, because we have a group, the actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. What we've been having the past few months uh, has been functions which we normally hold, mm -hmm. but we've put them on hold because on hold because uh, um, uh, next week we're starting to film uh, the president film. We've decided to put on hold any other activities apart from the filming because we went by February mm -hmm. to be done with the film. Okay. So this is this is what's going to keep us busy uh, up to okay. February. Yes. Okay, yes. all right. So up to February, yes. we should be shooting. Shooting. Yes. And, yeah. What are the budgets like? Ah, <laughs> this film, <laughs> this curry, yeah. it's, it's, a, it, it's a film that I went to social media and I was like, donations, 10,000 per, 10 quarter. 10 quarter per donation. Mm -hmm. wow. We were looking for 90,000. Wow. We're still looking for that money. Anyway. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. We're still looking for that money. Yeah. Um, I want to thank my Facebook friends mm -hmm. because they made donations yeah. and we're able to move to another stage. We managed to make our, our 
place better. Oh yeah. Yes, and um, we're getting started. Yeah. We had time to to complete our script and it's it's well done. Yeah. We're getting started, and for that, I just want to say thank you for those that made the so donations. Oh, yeah. We are so open for companies to come in. Yeah. We're so Excellent. open. Yes. So in fact, when, obviously, when uh, the movie is ready, yes, you know, we we'll definitely call you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be very happy. We'll be very happy. Yeah, we'll hear more and, yes. you know, just yes. yeah, learn more and hear more about it. Yes. When, when are you going back to electronics? Because I know you as an electronics man. <laughs> yes. It's something that I'm not talking about, but basically, yeah. Um, it's, yeah. it's, it's one thing I did before uh, starting a studio. Yeah. I used to make amplifiers. But yeah. at the end, it has all been music. The love of loud music, heavy music. Yeah. I had, had started making amplifiers. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. I'd supplied a lot of amplifiers, almost the entire country, because people wow. would come and order. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And yes. Um, wow. I must say, I took a break. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. of maybe this is quite challenging. Yeah. I mean, music, filming, yeah. and running a group, the actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. So it's quite overwhelming, and I think I'm okay there now. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Nice one. It's time for the quick question session. We'll be right back after this break. Drink healthy. Live healthy. With Alexa Kombucha. Kombucha, a magical medicinal, naturally carbonated health drink. I love you, baby girl. I love you too. That is here. Cheers. <laughs> For my quick question session. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. I think I'm ready. Um, you need to answer me in five seconds. Okay, if you remember. Uh, the first concert you ever attended? The Burning Youth. Uh, yes, the BY concert. Burning Youth. Yes. What makes you angry? Lies. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm bored. I hope that. What makes you angry? Lies. Uh, Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, name two artists you would like to be compared to. I want Lucky Do, eh? Uh -huh. Don Moen. Uh -huh. Yeah, two artists. Aida, what would you do? What wouldn't you do without? Phone, makeup, uh, whatever. I don't know. Phone. Phone. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite song of all time? I pledge allegiance by rebels. I, I, I pledge allegiance. Yes. Okay. You know it? Yes, I do. Most embarrassing song you ever heard. <laughs> Most embarrassing song. Uh, yeah, it's a local artist, so I'll not talk about that. Mulule, mulule. Aida, if you could go back to school, mm -hmm. what grade would you choose? Grade 7. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for choice. <laughs> Jetson, yes. when was the last time I like you... the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when was the last time you cried? Um, Miss Oz. Yes, I cried. I think that was about, um, I can say, eight years ago. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I cried. I see. <laughs> Aida, mm -hmm. approximately how long do you take to take a bath? How long does it take for you to take a bath? Five minutes. Five? Mm -hmm. Suma Tuma. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> 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 Jetson, how long? How long? Uh, I take eight minutes. Eight? Uh-huh. 
Yeah. 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 So let's take all on there. Ah, fighting, yes. Ah. I've beaten people. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never been arrested. <laughs> I don't really. Um, I'm one person who is always teaching that people should not be emotional, but they should always reason. Yeah. Yes, re reason and uh, use, use uh, reason, yes. Okay. But yeah. I, I do get upset, yes, but I don't keep it Excellent. Uh, thank you so much. Thank for you. having come on the show. I've had a nice time. I've enjoyed myself. I'm very happy, actually. Very pleased. We are very happy that you have us here. Yes, thank yeah. you so much. I have some presents for you. I'll give you some presents. Oh, I'll wow. give you a kombucha case each. Ooh, and wow. one small gift of a you know, token of appreciation. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so you. much. Thank you so much. Zabamutima. <laughs> Yeah, well, there you go. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, that's uh, our token of appreciation. Okay. From Gavi. There you go. Thank you so much. That's uh, <laughs> Ginger. Okay. Thank and you. That's uh, Rob. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. We hope to speak with you, you when that movie is ready. Eh? <laughs> we'll be yeah. more than glad to come and uh, talk about it. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Thank you so much. That was our show for today, so until next week at the same time, bye-bye. Don't mind I invited some friends. <laughs> huh? 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mufera, Wapalara, Ero Mutumba, Monica, no or one ungue, Ulingue Lysis, Uzawan Sabanji, Kumesa, your say committee, Yamamuans. Apa boy, Ufunica, give me that fruit up, fruit up, fruit up, fruit up, fruit up full of flavor. There is no better feeling than knowing that this is all. Fruit Top. Nothing tastes like home with real fruit in every drop. Oh, Nine, difficult. Capiopio. Napiamo. All bets on sports. What is fair? Virtuals and games. What is fair? Huge winnings. What is fair? High odds. What is fair? Fast pay. Visit onexbet.com.zm. Register. Bookmaker that you trust. Use promo code TVZM to get 200% bonus. Onexbet, bookmaker company. Every other language that you can think of that I should greet you in, I am here greeting you. My name is Mlengan. Welcome to another exciting episode of 
these streets. Now on these streets this time we are actually in Chilenje and I'm specifically excited about this one because I used to stay in this hood and trust me when I say I do not know some of the areas in Chilenje. I know it's embarrassing but hey that is why we get to be talking to Tasha who will be showing us around Chilenje because I'm excited to know as well some of the places I didn't know about. So Tasha will get to show us all around Chilenje so do stick around and continue watching the streets as we get to talk to Tasha. I did say that we'll be talking to Tasha. who will be showing us around uh, Chilenje. Like I said, I am super excited about this one, okay? Like, I know it's embarrassing. My area is in Angu. She was laughing at me that I stayed here and I don't know some areas. Tasha, welcome on the show. Thank you. So, Dram Lakrisa, where are we starting from? Where are you starting to show us from? Okay, so I think we're going to start with the old graveyard. Old graveyard. Yeah, and this is the old graveyard. Mm. You know, it's so funny. I didn't even know it was a graveyard. I used to pass here when I used to stay here, and I never knew it was a graveyard. So, what, when did this stop? Because it looks like it has been deserted for some time. Well, the time I came to Saga, if I remember very well, it was, yeah, it was still a graveyard. No, 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 it was still an old graveyard. <laughs> but then again, I also heard some stories that some people wanted to buy the land and stuff like that, but, you know, it's still a graveyard. It's still a graveyard, and it can't be sold. So, basically, it's still a graveyard. <laughs> So no, you are not scared to stay this close to a graveyard because you know the African thing here at Mashan Mashani, you know. <laughs> Give me a break. So here's the thing. A long time ago, I used to be, because I used to stay like across the road. Uh -huh. But then again, one day my friends were like, you know what? Today I'm copied that tippy daoma. So we passed and since then, it's a normal thing. You conquered your fear. I did, but I've never been to a graveyard like the one that is where people where they're burying people uh -huh. this is the only one that i've been to <laughs> like literally this wait is. you've never been to a graveyard tell me how to fill it up fill it on the white cocoa and stuff like that but come on that that's one one so she said that this is the graveyard so guys secrets between you and i i'm a bit scared but hey <laughs> We have to do this. We are literally here at the old, gra old graveyard, like she said, old graveyard in Chilenje. Let's take a look around. So as you saw, we are, we're just from the old uh, cemetery, old grave, like she, guys, in it a lot. I didn't know about these places. And now we are about to go at the Zambia Library, Culture and Skills Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired. If I'm being very honest, Tasha Mandi, in it, I didn't even know that such a place existed. I'm really excited to see what's inside. I guess, I guess a lot of people didn't know about it. And... Um I think this would be the best opportunity for other people to know a little bit about the school because it's a school. It's a school for the blind and of course there are a lot of people that are blind out there that are literally doing nothing, maybe staying at home. But if they were to come over here in Chilenje, I mean, they will learn a lot of things. By the way, blind people do not use a computer, I'm just saying, in case you people didn't know. <laughs> for real, in case you people didn't know, they do not use a computer. They do not. And then there are a lot of people that do not use computers but blind people do know because I bet they teach a lot of things at the school. I think also it just has to do with, you know, what you put your mind to. So if you decide not to see about your visual impairedness, they're just like, I can do this as well. I think that's what it's all about. So I'm really excited to go inside there so we get to see what they are all about, get to learn a few things about them, you know, so that we get to know more about the school. So come along with us as we get to explore this school. This center 
was established in 1993 by the Finnish Federation of the Visually Impaired in Finland as a donation to the blind people of Zambia. In 2002, they pulled out. From that time, they were supporting the activities, but in there, they pulled out it and the Minister of Community Development and Social Services uh, took over the financial support. We get a grant uh, every year to meet our most special salaries. We have the core business of the center of uh, teaching blind people how to read and write braille to promote reading and writing culture by the blind people. We do it through the classes which we hold from Monday to Thursday, but due to the COVID, the, the, the classes are on suspension. Probably, God willing, next week we may call them back. Other things we do, we teach orientation. When blind people